Yep, the pool is closed and the trees are starting to change and it's really looking like fall here in upstate New York. And good morning, friends. It is that day yet again. Friday. It is a beautiful day out today. Alyssa is doing school right now. I wanted to do a quick haul. Last night we went to Trader Joe's and Home Goods and the dollar store, the new dollar store that I did a vlog on previously. So yeah, we are having a dinner party this weekend and it's gonna be like a Halloween themed dinner party. We're just having some friends come over and we're going to have um, Italian meatballs, these huge big mozzarella stuffed meatballs with pasta and salad and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. But I wanted to pick up a few things um, so that's why I went to Trader Joe's. But on my way to Trader Joe's I had to stop at Home Goods because I haven't been there in a while and I just wanted to see if they had anything new. So I did end up picking up a few things. Oh, I also stopped at Joanne Fabrics as well. So it's Trader Joe's, Home Goods, Joanne Fabrics, and the dollar store. I'm gonna kinda combine everything into one little haul here. Um, so let's start with what I got at Home Goods because that was like my first stop. Oh, I found two really cute bowls. Now, I really don't need any bowls because I have a lot, but these ones were Halloween themed and I thought that they'd be perfect for our dinner party. So this is one that I got. This was from Home Goods. I liked the little skulls all around the outside and then there's three on the inside. $7.99 at Home Goods. Um, it's a nice size. I figured we could either put salad in here or maybe even the meatballs because the way we make them, we make like half pound meatballs and stuff them with mozzarella and then Sean makes homemade sauce and they're just really good. So I might put the meatballs in here. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I just thought this would be really cute. And I saw this one last minute as we were checking out. It's in that little section that you walk down at Home Goods before you get to the registers. Someone must have just set it down there and I saw it and I was like, I gotta get this one too because it's so cute. It's got the little skeleton on the inside um, and then the little legs hanging out the outside. I thought that was super cute. This one was $9.99 and I wanted to put the pasta in this one. So I thought that'd be a really good bowl for the pasta. While I was at Home Goods, I wasn't planning on buying any like food type of items at Home Goods. Usually I don't buy anything food from Home Goods unless it's like for a basket or something that I'm putting together. But I found some pasta that and I figured since we're having a pasta meal, these would be great for the Halloween themed pasta dinner that we're having. I got three of these bags of black and white bow tie pasta. I just, I thought these were so cool. I've never seen black and white pasta before. There were three bags of them. Um, they were $4.99 a piece, so I bought all three. I'm figuring, I mean, I'm figuring like two people, two servings per bag maybe, and that's generous because once pasta cooks up, it's, you know, pretty hearty. But um, there's going to be six of us at the dinner party, so I, that's why I got three bags. So I thought this was really cool, and it will go really well with our pasta meal. Then, this was something random. It has nothing to do with Halloween, but I will include it in this haul. Um, Alyssa and I have been searching for a crepe pan, like a non-stick crepe pan. Now I have Le Crusette cookware and I love my Le Crusette cookware. I have a, the whole set. Sean bought me the whole set when we first moved into the house because I had always said, you know, once we get a new house and have a, you know, a new kitchen, I want new cookware and I've always wanted the Le Crusette. So we went to the outlet and we bought the whole Le Crusette shebang. And it was a huge investment and I love my Le Crusette. But the one thing that the Le Crusette is lacking is the non-stick pans. Now, 
I have a griddle that's um, coated and it's supposed to be nonstick, but it really isn't a great nonstick. And it's not good for like pancakes or anything. And usually when we make pancakes, we'll just make them on the griddle on the stove top. But it's pretty narrow, so it's hard to make crepes. And Alyssa loves crepes, so we were looking for a really good crepe pan. And I found one at Home Goods. And it's a nice, big, flat, nonstick crepe pan. And this one is by, if I can pronounce it correct, Rock Gus, or Rock Gus, maybe. It's made in Italy, so it's an Italian pan. Pretty good, you know, quality, I think. Um, I think this one was $29.99, so it wasn't hugely expensive, but it's a nice, heavy consistency. And it will be perfect for what we need it for. And literally, it's just making crepes. So I did pick this up as well. Then um, I got one other item from Home Goods, and that was these. Um, they're pumpkin cookie scented tea lights. Now there are, I believe, 24, 24 tea lights in here. They smell delicious smell just like pumpkin cookies um I burn so many tea lights I have a lot of the um, battery operated tea lights I keep those in places where I don't really want to have an actual flame lit but these ones I thought would be great for you know around my dining room table like when I do want to have some ambiance or whatever and I can actually light these ones so I got these these were $6.99 at home goods Oh, they smell so good. So yeah, so that was my final purchase from Home Goods. Then from Home Goods, we stopped at Joann Fabric, and there were a couple of things that I picked up from Joann Fabrics. I purposely went to Joann Fabrics because I needed to get buttons for Jameson's gift that I'm making him. Um, I'm making. If you've seen in my previous vlog, I'm making him a felt, like, busy book. And it's going to be all Mickey Mouse Clubhouse themed. So I'm making the little Mickey Mouse Clubhouse car. And the buttons I'm going to put um, for the headlights. I got, like, some mirrored reflective buttons. So those are going to be the headlights. And then I've got some other buttons for the wheels so that he can, you know, spin them or whatever. Um, so I wanted to get those from Joann Fabri Fabrics, but while I was in Joann Fabrics, yeah, so I've been eyeing these rose gold bird cages every time I go, and I've passed them up. There's only been two. There was a large one and a medium-sized one. They were originally like, one was 50 and one was 40, and they keep dropping the price on them. They were now down to 70% off, and this time I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy them because... I had a coupon for, it was an additional 20% off of the already marked down clearance price. So I was going to get them for like 9 and $10 a piece, I think. So this one is the large one. And it's got like little acorns and rose colored, rose gold colored leaves scattered all around. And then there's a little owl at the top. And I just thought this was so adorable it's got this little clip and the top flips open um my plan with these is once halloween is over and i start my thanksgiving tablescape in my dining room i'm going to be using these on my dining room table that was my plan when i first saw these and or that was my idea when i first saw them so then when i decided to actually purchase them i was like yeah i'm going to just put them in my dining room table um, so this is the large one and it's you can see it's good size and then this is the medium sized one a little bit smaller same exact design just a little bit smaller I purchased Ob obviously I got my buttons that I had wanted which little headlight buttons um, I saw these these were on clearance for some reason all of their Thanksgiving like fall type stuff is all on clearance even though it's not Thanksgiving yet um, and they're offering it for a larger percentage off than the Halloween stuff so they were doing like 70% off of like the fall harvest stuff and then 50% off like the Halloween stuff so I found these cute little just plain 
napkins. It says give thanks. And I thought these will be perfect for Thanksgiving here at my house. I'm having all my family here. So I grabbed two packages of these. They're normally $4 a piece. I think they were like $1.50 each. Maybe less. I don't even remember. Um, then I picked up more of these gold leaves. Now I before I had bought four of this like rose gold color. It's like a more of a coppery color. So I had bought four of these and I have these scattered on my mantle in my family room, like mixed in with the gold hydrangeas. So I bought one more of these cause there was one left. And then there was four of the regular gold colored leaves. Now, originally my plan was to cut these leaves off of the stem and use them as place settings on each, buddy, each person's um, place setting at the dining room table for Thanksgiving. But I liked how these looked um, mixed in with my mantle floral arrangements that I decided to just keep these there. Um, and then I'm going to use these other gold ones as my place setting name cards. So I'll cut each, cut each um, leaf off of the stem, add like a little piece of like raffia ribbon with like a name card attached to it and like stick it in the napkin of everybody's place setting. So I got those. These were originally $2.99 and I believe they were 70 or 80% off. So I don't know, however that, that ends up being change then I thought I was all done decorating for Halloween no I happened to spot these which these are little glittered mice and they're die cut silhouettes for your stairs and I had to get them because I have a stairway that is pretty much exactly like this and it's right when people walk into my house and when I open the door for trick-or-treaters they'll see the stairway and they'll see the little mice going up the stairs I just had to get it, it was, these were so cute and again it was 50% off normally I think this was normally $9.99 I think it was $9.99 and so I ended up getting it for five so that's what I got from Joanne Fabrics then from Joanne Fabrics, I went to that new dollar store. It's not the Dollar Tree, it's Dollar Buy or something like that. It's a brand new store, um, but they're specifically for canning jars. And I had wanted the small canning jars that are about half this size. And when we, Alyssa and I went there on the opening day, they had a whole rack of them. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to go and get like eight or ten of them because I love canning jars. Canning jars are great for like snacks. They're great to like cook like individual little desserts in. Um, they're great for canning. I use them for a lot of different things and I can always use them. And I'm always like losing the, the tops and stuff. And, you know, we use the jars for other things, for crafts and whatever. So, you know, for a dollar, I figured I'd pick up a few of them. But they didn't have the small ones. So I ended up getting the next size up. And I only bought a few of them because technically I really wanted the small ones. I didn't want these large ones. Um, but I got four of the, and they're not even large. They're still small. They're only, I don't even know, six ounces. It's, a, it's I think, a six ounce jar. So I got four of these. Um, I mean, I'll definitely use them for something. I'm going to check back again and see if they have the small ones again. Hopefully they do because that's what I wanted. Then I purchased one other, well actually I should say two other items from the dollar store. I saw these cute little Happy Halloween um, kitchen towels and they're kind of just cheap but I didn't want to buy them to use them. I really just wanted to buy them for decoration for my kitchen. So I bought two of them. They were only a dollar a piece and I'm just going to keep one on my oven door and one on my dishwasher door just for decoration. Then we went to Trader Joe's and we actually bought a whole bunch of stuff at Trader Joe's so I'm not going to haul everything from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to haul the things that are different than what we normally get. Um, we do a lot of grocery shopping at Trader Joe's so we got like regular grocery stuff but then these things were just like 
things that I either hadn't seen before or seasonal things. So this is what we got from Trader Joe's. So the first thing that I picked up was, I, I know I already purchased pasta and originally my plan was to get pasta from Trader Joe's for our pasta dinner party. But I saw these little fall butternut squash pastas and I really wanted to try them because I've never had butternut squash pasta. Now I've had pasta with butternut squash sauce, but I've never had actual butternut squash pasta. So I figured I would try these out and not for our dinner party, just for like a meal, you know, during the week sometime. So I got these from Trader Joe. I will let you know how we like them. I bought some of this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Now, my plan with this was to make a trifle, like a pumpkin trifle with it. I would actually make it like the, you know, in a bread pan, cut it up into, into cubes and make a trifle with like a pumpkin pudding or a pumpkin, pumpkin and cool whip or I'm not really sure I make trifles all the time you know when we have guests over or during holidays so I figured this would be like a good base for a trifle so that's another one that we got now Sean threw these in the cart and I didn't know that we got them until we we're checking out Sean's famous for that we got these little Halloween Jojo cookies and they are so cute they look like little Oreo cookies but with little jack-o'-lantern faces and it's got like a pumpkin vanilla bean cream filling so it's chocolate pumpkin faced cookies with a vanilla bean cream filling from Trader Joe's haven't tried them yet figured I'd put some out on a dish when we have our little party tomorrow night and uh, thought those would be cute but I can't take the credit for them because Sean picked them out then lastly you cannot have an Italian themed dinner without having some Pellegrino and usually we serve wine with our Italian dinners um, but you know if you don't feel like having a glass of wine or you want to just have something to drink you know to guzzle <laughs> it's nice to have something cold and refreshing and we always love to get the Pellegrino sparkling um, beverages and we usually mix like a fruit juice with it um, so we we get this a lot of the times like during Christmas we'll have it we'll stock up on it um, or you know even during the summer because it's really good with like lemon and lime drinks but this time I was going to add some cherry juice to it so we'll do the Pellegrino with a splash of cherry juice so I figured that would be different a little um, different than what we normally would use and this is 100 percent cherry juice both from trader joe's i got three of these just to have we probably won't go through all three of them because like i said we'll be having wine as well but they will be kids here so this will give them something sparkly and fun to drink that's you know an alcoholic so those will be at our party tomorrow and that wraps up what we purchased last night that i'm gonna haul anyhow we have a really busy weekend ahead. Now, I figured that, I know previously I had been doing my whole weekend vlogs into one video and it was just so much content and it was getting to be so long and hard to edit that I decided that I'm gonna break down my weekend vlogs into like three or four separate videos. And it just seems to work easier, I can edit them easier, I can post them faster, so, that is my plan from here on out is to do three or four weekend vlogs so this weekend since it's a busy weekend tonight we have a few things going on Alyssa is supposed to be going to a football game um, she's supposed to be hanging out with her friends Sean and I might go out for dinner we haven't had like alone time in forever even though we won't be alone we'll be with Jameson um, but we'll probably do that this evening tomorrow is the um, West Mountain Fall Festival and so we're gonna be going to that during the day and that's their big fall harvest festival they have hay rides they have vendors they have all kinds of food trucks um, it's just a really fun event I've heard we've never been to the one at West Mountain before we've been to other mountains 
festivals that are probably very similar. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Then tomorrow evening, we're having our dinner party with our friends. Then Sunday, we are having a football party with my sister and her family, and they're going to come here. And so we're going to do, be doing another busy day on Sunday. So I'm hoping to do a lot of vlogging and having a lot of content to upload for you guys this next coming weekend. And yeah, so stay tuned. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and check out my other videos that I have because I have a huge arrangement of videos, all different content, um, vlogs, hauls, Disney vacations, um, Disney tips, all kinds of stuff. So just check out my videos. Um, hope you like them. If you do, thumbs up and make sure to subscribe guys. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you later.